What's up, everybody? My name is Ro James, and we're in Southside, Jamaica, Queens. This block is important to me because since I was born, this has been the house that uh, my family has had. My grandmother used to like come out and make like these things called bakes, where it's like fried dough, and then with hot chocolate at night, and sometimes she'd bring it outside with all my cousins, and we'd be in the driveway chilling. I used to travel around in different places. I've lived in Oklahoma. And living in Oklahoma, when you go to school there for a year, and you're like, I can't wait to go to New York for the summer. And you come to New York, you got people wearing overalls. You got your chains. I see my cousins, my big cousins would have chains and gold teeth. And it would just be a different perspective for me to look forward to and to add to who I was, you know? My family is Panamanian, so they love drinking and partying and having a good time and just inviting all kinds of Panamanians to come and party. I mean, just anybody on the block. If you, you come over here in the summer, you might run into like block parties, reggae parties, red light parties. That's what we did in this house. So this house gives me a lot of memories, this block period. This is my room. <laughs> so my style basically comes from all of the different places that I've been. I think every place that you go, you kind of collect certain things from the good places that you've been and it becomes a who you are. I have variety, I have ponchos, I got leather overalls, <laughs> you know, like that nobody has, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've had this for a minute and I used to be kind of afraid to wear certain things because I felt like I would be so stand out and out of place but I realized that that's what made me who I was is the fact that I was confident enough to wear something like this and be stand out and really not care who's looking at me, you know, because I like it. This was the park that we used to come to. Whenever we'd ask, could we go to the park, we just run up the block, it's so close. I mean, sometimes in the summer I come here and actually work out. That's where a lot of guys come work out and they do their pull-ups and whatnot. I play baseball over here, Little League with my cousins, my aunt used to put us in there. I got into a fight on the basketball court. I was playing basketball, got into a little argument with a dude, and he wanted to fight me because he felt like I was being too aggressive. <laughs> I mean, probably was, but we fought. And basically, after we fought, I'm trying to walk away. I got stabbed right here in the back of my lower back. Went home, acted like nothing. I didn't never tell nobody, I just like, put it together, put tape on it, hoping that it would just like heal. Yo, it healed, but I, so I guess I didn't go, it didn't go too far, but yeah, in this part. <laughs> so we're at Jamaica Coliseum. Uh, it's basically the Coliseum block in Southside. Anybody who's been to Queens or come to Queens, you gotta come here, and anybody that grew up here knows about Jamaica Avenue, beef patties, cocoa bread. Yeah, good pizza. To be back here feels nostalgic because it reminds me of being a kid, coming here with my mom, shopping, trying to find some clothes. This place right here at 14 Carat Gold Center, man, I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. My man used to do my molds, which I've lost probably like 40 times and remade. And so, I mean, I feel like he has the best pieces, best jewelry, and he gives you the best cuts. I come here all the time. His wife is cool. They always treat me good, like I'm family since I was a kid. Always like jewelry going on. The culture is just jewelry. Ever since I was a kid, I had like a chain, a ring, a bracelet. This bracelet here, I got in Panama. It's a watch, actually. And it has my name on it, like my scorpion. I'm a Scorpio. I, my grandmother gave me this when I was 14, my great-grandmother, so I've had it ever since. Panamanian gold has like this detail in the jewelry that they, they carve into it, which makes it like special to the country. Nobody else can duplicate it. I think there's a lot of Indian jewelry that has that red gold, but Panamanian gold, I mean, when you see it, you just know it. We on a block called 78th and Exus. We started moving to this block. We did like a lot of extreme stuff.